K2 provides a module that allows you to display a tag cloud. From the module manager, click New and select K2 Tools. Rather than creating a dozen different types of modules, K2 provides the Tools module that allows you to configure it in multiple ways. I'll set it to display in the right column on the Devotions page. Under Basic Options, the Select Module functionality is what makes the Tools module so versatile. For this module, I'll select Tag Cloud. Now scroll down to the settings that apply to Tag Clouds. You can control the minimum and maximum font sizes, the number of tags, and the categories used. I'll select the Devotions category and save the module. The tag cloud is displayed in the right column. Clicking any tag displays the tag view listing of those items. K2 relates items based on the tag fields. At the bottom of the page you can see a list of related items. There are also settings to control that display. Those are found in the, under the category, under Item View Options, in the Related Items section. You can control the number of items displayed and choose to display the title, intro text, image, and more. A good blog encourages interaction with visitors. One of the most important ways to do that is by allowing comments. You can enable comments in the global parameters. I generally like to moderate comments before having them appear on a site. So I'll set Enable Comment Auto Publishing to No. I'll set Inline Moderation to Yes. If this were a live site, I would turn on either reCAPTCHA or the Stop Forum Spam integration to avoid comment spam. There are additional options for those two items in the Advanced tab. When I add a comment, I see the message that the comment is waiting for approval. From the K2 dashboard, click the Comments tab, and you can see the new comment there with an unpublished status. Just click the icon to publish it. K2 doesn't send an email to the admin or the blog post author when a comment is posted. However, there is a commercial extension called K2 Multi Notify that will do that. It's available at k2joom.com. Here we can see the published comment. It also appears in the latest comments module that I had added earlier. From the module manager you can control the settings to that latest comments module. This gives you the option of displaying the latest comments or the top commenters with additional options such as selected categories, number of comments to display, and number of words per comment, as well as whether to show the commenter's name or username, avatar, and other display options. K2 also provides a variety of social media options. You can easily add Tweet, Facebook Like, and Google Plus One buttons. From the Category Settings, go to Item View Options, Social Sharing. You can hide or show each of those three buttons. In the Global Parameters, Social tab, you can create account on addthis.com or a similar social sharing site and paste that code into this section. You can enter a Twitter username here and set an image size for Facebook posts. Here we can see the Add This bookmarks. I'll add two more modules to the blog page using the K2 Tools module. First I want to add a blog calendar. Select Blog Style Calendar from the Module Functionality drop-down. There's only one setting for the calendar. 
the category filter. And last I'll add a blog archive, again using K2 tools. Set the functionality to archive. You can control whether the item counter displays and also select a category. Here we have our blog archive, our latest comments, the login form, and our tag cloud. We covered a lot of ground in this tutorial. As you can see, K2 allows you to quickly and easily create a full featured blog. There are still features of K2 we haven't used yet. In the next sessions, I'll create a new category to display the book reviews with extra fields, extra field groups, and image galleries.